Hello viewers, Assalamu alaikum. Today I am going to represent a video clip based on information processing cycle. Information processing cycle of computer. How does it work? To know about, we have to know before about data and about information. We have to know what is data and what is information before knowing about information processing cycle. What is data? We know first about what is data. Data is a collection of discrete values that contain information. For example, letter A, B, C, D, E, F have no meaning, but a combination of letter Apple carry information. So, data is discrete value. Now we know what is information. Information is the collection of organized data. Information is organized or classified data, which has some meaningful value. Information is the process data. For example, the combination of letter apple or ball carry information that is very knowing, no knowing to us. So this is information. The information processing cycle we know about now. The information processing cycle. It has four parts: input, processing, output, and storage. These are the four steps that carry a cycle to make information to display to us. Now we show the information processing cycle, the diagram, as input, then process it by processor. Then we get output and we store it for future use in a medium. So know about now input. During this part of the cycle, the computer accepts data from some source such as the user or a program or for processing. We take input through keyboard. This is an example. We, th we can get input through input keyboard or mouse or a scanner or microphone these are the input device through this we get input and throw it for process computer takes input as data not for information it takes as data then this data are processed by processor processing processes during the part of this cycle, the computer's processing components perform action on the data based on instruction from the user or a program. In this part, in this step, whole main function has done the instruction, the instruction given by input and what is by processing step. Then we get output. Output. Here the computer may be required to display the result for its processing. For example, the result may be appear as text, number or a graph. A simple example, when we press on keyboard a number or a letter, it gives throw data to processor. The processor process it through its function and get output to the monitor. Now an optional part is storage. In this step, the computer permanently stores the result of its processing on a disk tape or some other kind of storage medium. As with output, storage is optional and may not always be required by the user of program. Actually, storage is needed for future use or other words that is useful for user so guys thank you for watching this video and subscribe to my channel